what are the key things that build trust? I'm thinking, you know, the little, I'm, it's the little promises, I guess, uh, are the signals, aren't they, that, that you can deliver on the big promises? I think the reality is, is when you're selling quite sophisticated, complex, high-value products and services, so things that you need to explain and educate, and often products or services people might only buy once in their lifetime or twice in their corporate careers. You know? and, and it comes through in all the things you just said. You know, first up, people trust those who share our values. If you're talking about the kinds of issues in the way that they think about those same issues, you, you instantly have some rapport. They, they're people that listen and ask really great questions and have questions that drive them to think. You know, if you're asking challenging questions and you're demonstrating your expertise because of the quality of the questions you ask, then you get you start to create trust. If you right. are accurate and credible, you know, so you're not, you know, to our point about lightweight content versus things that show you did the market study or you've right. really got experience to bring to bear. All those things start to take what is a fairly intangible and hard to understand product or service and say, you know, what you're trying to do is de-risk that purchase. How do you yeah. essentially get them to feel comfortable that you've got their best interests at heart, you know what you're doing, you're a safe bet and you're going to deliver what you say you're going to deliver. And that can be done remotely. You know, you don't yeah. don't have to be in a meeting to do that face to face. I'd just sum it up into one word, um, Nick, and that's care. You know, care about the person uh, you're trying to help. Um, I mean, ultimately, they're not at all interested in in your product. They care about their pain and or what their problem is, and um, you don't get to explore that with someone at a detailed level because you know the world's sick of being sold to. You can't walk down the street without, you know, seeing a bus, you know, selling at you. You can't open your phone without getting an ad. You can't do anything. Everyone's become increasingly cynical that, you know, all this is going to be a sales message or a call. So you, it's, you do stand out if you do play the long game and some of your best customers will be, um, you know, you don't need to sell if you do a good job with, with your customers and they'll, they'll sell for you. In a complex sale situation, you, you're far more of a consultant first to work out, you know, what are their problems and to establish that you are um, on the same page as them and you, you, you're an insider, if you like, you understand their world and then as a result of being able to understand their world, you can, you can they'll open up because there's nothing people hate more is than talking to someone who's they know is just trying to sell to them 